Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to take a look at Natasha Denona's new mini love story collection. There were three items released for this collection. Out of the three, I got two of them. The first one, of course, is going to be her mini eyeshadow palette. This is an extension of the Love eyeshadow palette that has 15 shades. Um, of course, with the minis, they come in five shades. And then I also took this opportunity to try her I Need a Nude lipstick formula. Um, the shade released for this collection is called Amorosa, and I am all over this chrome hot pink packaging. The boxes too are the same color. And the look you can get from this palette basically matches the box, yeah. If you like hot pink, this is it. This one's for you. And before we get to the swatches, I'll go through the collection itself and we'll take a brief look at the descriptions on the website. Um, the palette and lipstick are both made in Italy. I love that consistency about her products. And this has a shelf life of 24 months, which is in line with all of her other palettes that I have. The lipstick has a shelf life of 18 months. This collection is called the Mini Love Story. There is a uh, the mini eyeshadow palette, lipstick, and a love cheek duo. I didn't get the love cheek duo because I already have the um, diamond and blush palette, which is six pan. The cream blush from that palette is supposed to be the same as what's in the Love Cheek Duo. I share some thoughts on that when we get to that point in the demo. I don't think they're the same same, but at least maybe they're the same idea and they're expected to perform at least very similarly. And as for the highlighter, I did find one that I thought within my collection was similar to that cool pinky champagne highlighter in the Love Cheek Duo. So I just wanna say, the lipstick combined with the palette plus whatever I could mimic in terms of the blush and highlighter. I actually really like this collection with these three items combined. Um, as for how they are or how I think of them individually, I'll share more detailed thoughts after the demo at the end. So the way to get your hands on this collection uh, is you can pre-order all of it on Natasha Denona's website. It is going to be available at Sephora and online, Sephora online um, on the 28th. So coming right up here. And I got these items during her 48 hour first access sale. Initially, I thought I would just get the palette because I do collect her eyeshadow palettes, but when you have to order a minimum of $50 to qualify for free shipping, at least to the States. Um, I thought it'd be a good time to try her lipstick. About the new Mini Love eyeshadow palette, it is described on the website as a range of five new ultra pigmented pink and purple tone eyeshadows and perfect for Valentine's Day. Inspired by the limited edition meaty sized love eyeshadow palette made with ND's iconic formulas in creamy matte, metallic and duochrome finishes to create your desired look from bold smoky eyes to soft everyday wear. And the benefits of Natasha Denona's formula is also described here. Uh, it is made, these shadows are made with the highest quality pure color pigments, dazzling chroma crystals, and luminous mineral pearls. Its buttery smooth hydrating eyeshadow formula wears beautifully on any skin type and skin tone. Formulated without talc, parabens, or phthalates. Cruelty free and allergen free. I actually did not know that they're talc free. I mean, I am not um, an expert of uh, makeup ingredients by any means, but you know, a few, few things I, I'm aware of and I, I didn't know that they were talc free. Good to know, okay. And moving on to the lipstick. Treat and smooth your lips with the latest addition to ND's 20 classic I Need a Nude lipstick shades. Introducing Amorosa, a perfect natural mauve lipstick shade to lift all skin tones. Coveted by fans across the globe, Natasha's iconic nude lip looks come to life with a collection of universally flattering shades. Natasha was compelled to create this gorgeous collection after spending years mixing nude lipsticks together to achieve her vision. A nude that would flatter everyone and complement her signature smoky eyes. And the lipstick has a luxurious texture with a lightweight creamy formula that gives you that 
a nude lip you've been dreaming of while simultaneously hydrating and repairing your lips. Hydrating formula envelops lips in a luminous, your lips but better finish. Uh, I would say it is my lips, but a lot, a lot better. <laughs> if you can't tell that I like this lipstick, I hope now it is clear. Uh, I won't save that to reveal at the end. Um, it is this semi-matte finish of a nude lipstick that I, I think it's similar to Wayne Goss's. I'll take one of Wayne Goss's lipstick and we'll do a swatch that way too. Um, but I don't have nude lipsticks of this kind of undertone. Like I know this is a mauve undertone, but she has ones that have like more brown or more red in it. And this has gotten me really interested in her other shades. The lipsticks I have from Wayne Goss all have like a pinky undertone to it, which I love. But if I wanted something that was different from uh, Wayne Goss's offering, for example, uh, probably Natasha Denona is gonna be one of the first brands I'm going to look at. And while I didn't get the Love Cheek Duo Compact, I am gonna read the website description because later on as I'm trying to, you know, find a highlight that is somewhat of a good match or I'm using the cream blush from Daria, you kind of have an idea of, you know, what direction I was thinking from. This collection being inspired all by the meaty size Love Story collection, Endy has paired her ever coveted cream blush from the Diamond and Blush Glow Palette in shade Daria with a new shade of her iconic highlighting compact powder, a warm pinkish dual chrome that shifts from pink to champagne. And the cream blush is a rich and creamy texture that gives cheeks a flush of color formulated with a powder soft finish for long wearing natural lumosity. The Glow Impact Powder, which is the highlighter in that compact, is a gel powder texture that fuses to skin for a polished, radiant high shine. Okay, well, let's get on to the swatches. And Natasha Denona is not afraid to switch it up with her shade names. These five shades make up the phrase, you are my true love. And we saw her do something different last year with the Glam Palette, the meaty size with 15 shades. Uh, instead of using uh, different names for each of them, which she had been doing like prior for all other palettes, she gave them directional names. So it'd be like center lid, outer corner, inner corner, highlight. Yeah, she's definitely not afraid to switch things up. So we have starting here, this is the duochrome U. It's so pretty. R, very buttery matte. My, true, love. I love this shade here. And look how beautiful it blends out. Oh, gorgeous. And looking within my existing Natasha Denona collection, I don't have anything that is really too similar. Although the Zendo palette does give me pinky vibes. This is more uh, hot pink and purple, and this is a softer pink. So I can swatch this shade here, which is Daz compare it to the dual chrome. Um, Daz is not a dual chrome, so I know they're going to be different, but you can get a sense of like the tone between the two. It's like a peachy pink. This is more of a pink purple, or it reflects or it shifts a bit purple. And as for lipstick comparison, I mentioned earlier that the only lipstick that I have uh, might have a similar finish, like a creamy but still kind of matte, uh, would be Wayne Goss's lipsticks. This is in the shade from Wayne Goss, Camellia. And it's not gonna be the same uh, as this one here, but I just wanna compare their finishes. And looking at it like this, I would say Wayne Goss's definitely have more of a sheen in the finish than the I Need a Nude. The I Need a Nude really looks like a luminous matte 
like a creamy, luminous matte. I'm liking that a lot. I'm liking the lipstick a lot. Let's head over to the demo. I'll see you guys at the end. I'm starting with the shade R and I'm putting that all over the lids. And then I'm taking the shade My and I'm adding that right above the lash line. And then I'm taking a blending brush and diffusing that deeper shade upwards. Because I want this deep shade my to be a bit more concentrated on the upper lash line i'm going to go back for another application okay and then diffuse a bit next i'm taking love and we're placing that on top of the deeper matte shade. Or I should say I'm taking it to put above the deeper matte shade. And then we're blending that shade towards the crease. And with a pinky, I'm dipping it into this shade here, which is called U and I'm popping that onto the center of the lids. And I just want a little bit more intensity, so I'm going back in for a second application. So I wonder if you can see that difference. I also want to spread the shade um, to both sides of the lid just a little bit. I want the main concentration to be in the center, but I want that to also be present throughout the entire eye look. So I'm just lightly using uh, a brush I didn't use before to do that. Then I'm gonna go back in with a blending brush from earlier. I'm just adding a little bit more pink. I'm just fluffing this look a little bit more. We're taking the shade Love again and putting that on the lower lash line. I'm going to use True, this bright light shade, as an inner corner highlight. The same shade has a brow bone highlight. And I'm going to add some eyeliner on the upper lash line. And I'm also taking a black liquid eyeliner. This is Pat McGrath's uh, liner. I'm going to add this to the look today and just make it more dramatic by doing a wing out. For blush, we're gonna use Natasha Denona's Diamond and Blush Palette. This is Daria. And supposedly this cream blush here, which I will use as a base, is the same as what's in the um, Love Cheek palette, or is it uh, Cheek and Highlight Duo palette? Basically, it came out with this collection. And um, I saw comparisons online. The shades are, I think in the new one, it looks more dramatic or it's more pigmented and maybe like deeper and maybe creamier. So there might be some changes in the formula, but it's supposed to be, you know, at least um, supposed to mimic this in terms of quality. So that's why I decided to use it for this, um, this particular demo. And we're going to look in my existing highlighter collection to see if we can find something that may be a close enough match to what's actually found in that uh, Cheek Duo palette. So this cream blush is very pigmented and the comparison that I saw is that the new one is even a little bit 
more vibrant than this. And I think it's just as pigmented, if not a little bit more, but like very vibrant. So going in light-handed is recommended, um, unless you wanna do sort of what I'm doing now, like a really all over glow. And I think we have a good amount of blush just from this cream base that I'm actually not going to add any blush on top of that. Um, with the cream blushes, you can wear it on top of your makeup and it probably, at least with this formula, I know it won't budge. I typically do it under setting powder, but I'm fine with just adding it on top and kind of get this like, you know, pretty pigmented overall uh, blush glow. Yeah, we'll just try something different today. And as for the highlighter, when I looked at my collection, there were really just two highlighters that stood out. I did find two highlighters we can play around with, we can swatch and see. One is the Pat McGrath um, Sublime Skin Highlighter. This one here is unlikely to be that close. While it is pinky and champagne-like, it doesn't quite have uh, the gold reflex from the uh, Love Cheek Duo. So then I turn to my Chantecai Les Paillettes and it's uh, kind of shattered, but <laughs> I still kept it. Uh, yeah, so Les Paillettes here. This I think looks quite similar to the Love Cheek Duo and I'll just swatch it. I think it's very similar. Maybe not quite as pink, but it's definitely on that cooler side with the gold sheen in it that is similar to the Love Cheek Duo. So just now I went back to swatch this gold part and that's kind of what I get. Now I know it's not exactly the same, but yeah, so that's just from swirling around the entire compact, but I think we can, we can use this today. And I wanna get more pink out of it, so I'm just gonna focus on this bottom shade here and we'll see how that turns out. And for lipstick, we're gonna go with the lipstick she released for this collection. This is also part of her I Need a Nude lipstick collection. The shade is called Amorosa. This is the finished look. I like how the combination of the three items from the collection, um, how this look came together as a result of that. Now I know the highlighter and cream blush is not the dual compact itself, but it's meant to kind of mimic that. And I, I would imagine it's gonna be a similar result, uh, maybe more impact, more champagne-y from Natasha Denona's highlighter rather than Le Payette from Chantecaille. But I would say the lip color matching with this eye look and getting that you know pinky blush, it's really pretty combined together. When I look at it like this, um, and also without all the studio lighting, just regular lighting, I think it looks really pretty. Um, it is very suitable for Valentine's Day. It's like, it fits the theme to the T. In terms of the palette, uh, I don't have any issues with the quality. The shadows were easy to work with. I think the shade is gorgeous. It's beyond beautiful and is easily my favorite um, from this palette. Although I would say the color story itself is not something I'm personally really drawn to. So that's why I wanted to emphasize how I like it a lot when the three things come together, the lip, the cheek, highlighter, and eyes, because if just the palette itself, I probably prefer the Zendo palette. I like the softer pink um, and this really kind of warm peachy shade here, this metallic, I, I really like. The, the thing that did surprise me the most is the lipstick. I didn't think I would like it as much as I am liking it. And uh, the other pieces, of course, again, the collection as a whole, very strong. I think this was a really good release for her. Let me know what you guys think of the collection. Do you have your eye on some of the items, all of the items? Thank you guys for watching. See you guys very soon. I hope your weekend has went pretty well. Bye.